let us find out the area and centroid of the area this is the given figure the height of the figure is 1 meter and the length of the figure is 1 meter the equation of this figure is y square is equal to x cube now to find out the area we are considering the rectangular section whose width is dx and there is a point that touch the curve is x comma y so we can get the value of height of this elemental rectangular section is y so we can easily calculate the area of this rectangular section so elemental area is length time breadth so here length is dx and and height of this rectangular section is y so you will get the elemental area is y times dx so we can get the value of y by using this equation of this curve y square is equal to x cube so you will get the value of y as x power 3 divided by 2 so we can put the value in this elemental area equation now we can take the integration from limits 0 to 1 so after solving this integration the area is equal to integration the upper limit is 1 and the lower limit is 0 and equation is x power 3 divided by 2 times dx so after solving this integration you will get the final equation now we can put the upper limit and lower limit after simplify this equation so you will get the area of this figure is 2 divided by 5 that is equal to 0 0.4 meter square so this is the area of this figure now we can calculate the centroid of this figure so first of all we are calculating the centroid from the y-axis so the centroid from the y-axis equation is this now the elemental area is y times dx and the area of this figure is 0 0.4 meter square now we can put all this value in this equation the value of x is taking from the distance of the centroid for this rectangular section from the y axis that is equal to x so and we can put the value of y by using the equation of this figure so we can get the value of y that is x power 3 divided by 2 now we can put the value of y and x here so our equation is look like this we can integrate this equation from 0 to 1 we can integrate this equation from 0 to 1 so after simplification the equation is look like this now we can solve this integration now we can simplify this equation and we can put the upper limit and lower limit so you will get the value of centroid from the y-axis that is equal to 0 0.7142 meter so this is the centroid from the y-axis for this figure Similarly, we can calculate the centroid from the x-axis. So the centroid equation from the x-axis is look like this. The area of this figure is 0 0.4 meter square and the elemental area for this rectangular section is y times dx. The centroid of this rectangular section is y divided by 2 from the x-axis. So we can put all these three values in our centroid equation. So our centroid equation is look like this. Now we can simplify this equation. Now we can calculate the value of y square. So the equation of this figure is y square is equal to x cube. So you will get the value of y square. Now we can put the value of y square in this equation. Then our equation is look like this. Now we can solve this integration from upper limit to a lower limit. So we can put the value of upper limit and lower limit so you will get the value of centroid from the x-axis from this figure is 0.3125 meter so this is the centroid from the x-axis so this equation the area of this figure is 0.4 meter square and the centroid is from the x-axis and y-axis is 0.7142 meter and 0.3125 meter so this is the centroid for this figure